Welcome to RB's Variety Channel. Now, today I'm going to show you the very best knot for magnet fishing. This is the very same knot that we used to use back when I was a high angle rope and rescue technician. So, without wasting any more of your time, here you go. Enjoy. All right, so let's uh, prepare our paracord by melting the end so it doesn't unravel or fray. Just do that with a lighter. Melt the edges, tamp them down. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. This is the most powerful knot for magnet fishing. Now, this is called a double eight, or a double eight on a bite, or bunny ears. Some people call it bunny ears. Um, and uh, this is the very same knot that we used back when I was in rope and rappel high angle rescue. Okay, so if it's strong enough for us to dangle off of it, uh, it's strong enough for magnet fishing. So what you want to do is get yourself your rope. Now this one's a shorter piece of rope. It's just for a demonstration to show how to tie this knot. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a loop. We've got a loop down here in the end. Okay? Now I'm going to do this step by step so you see exactly how this is done. Okay, so we take our loop, we pass it through the eye of the magnet, like so. Now, what you want to do is come underneath the working end of the rope, and you'll have this. Let me just clean this up so you can see exactly what you're working with. Okay, then bring the end of the loop back over the working end of the rope. So you'll have this. You can see the figure eight forming. Now, come, now take the end of the loop, come underneath the, uh, underneath this line, and just stop right there. Now you can see we've got a figure eight right here and we have the end of our rope right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our end of the rope and we're gonna swallow the magnet. So we'll just pull the magnet off, set it back down, and here's the end right here. Bring that underneath the magnet and above the figure eight that we tied. Now we're just gonna tighten everything down here, make it all pretty. takes a little bit of working the lines through each other here. Okay, so now there we go. So that is your figure eight. Now what you want to do to make this even more secure So now what you want to do to make this even more secure is tie what's called a stopper knot. Now this is just your regular, everyday, ordinary knot here. And it's just to keep this line from passing through the figure eight. And you tie that just above the figure eight. Okay, so now I'm going to show you why this knot is such a good knot um, and why climbers like this knot. Uh, when you're climbing and when your life depends on it, you want to build in redundancy, okay? And that's what this knot does. This is a redundant system, meaning it has two systems that if one fails, you're still okay. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if you can see here, we have two knots or two loops securing this magnet. Now these are separate pieces of rope here, or they're separate systems. So if one of these were to fail, we've got a backup. Now let me demonstrate that for you. Let me cut this guy here. Simulating a failure. We just had a failure. Our backup system has saved our magnet or our lives. And that is why this is the perfect knot 
for magnet fishing.